Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. Today we are taking a look at a built model. This is the Revel 1965 Chevy Impala Coupe. Um, this one was the Foose edition. You may remember that Revel released a series of kits which were inspired by or replicas of uh, cars customised by Chip Foose. Uh, and this is one of those series, so this is also available, or you will see it listed as the uh, Foose Impala uh, by Revel, like I say, 125th scale. Um, I didn't build this one to the box colour scheme uh, and, and box specification exactly. Uh, I built this actually as part of a build-off challenge with somebody else, which is so that we should both make Chevrolet Impalas uh, and... The only rule of the game, if you like, was that they should be used or worn out or beaten up in some way. So while he made his really nicely, actually, as a sort of a beaten up old stock Impala, I decided to turn mine into a kind of ratted out looking high performance custom machine. So what have we got here? What What's the kit actually like on its own? Well, what you can see here is... Uh, the, the bodywork, interior and so on is all completely standard from the kit. Everything is included in the kit that you see here. The wheels that you see, the big alloy wheels on there, they come uh, chromed up in the kit. So I've toned those down a bit. Rather than using the stock Chevy steel wheels and, and hubcaps, I decided to go with the, the custom large diameter alloys, the sort of thing that you get fitted onto a custom car or pro touring car or rat rod these days. Um, they're quite nice, decent sized wheels and tyres. Uh, I think they benefit from being de-chromed and toned down a bit, but that's just in my opinion. I'm sure you could do some nice builds with them fully chromed as well, or perhaps matted over to give them a, a sort of uh, a billet aluminium type look. Um, the kit is pretty good on details, so we've got things like the separate chrome door handles, separate mirrors, windshield wipers are separate chrome pieces as well. Uh, you get decals for the badges, so the, the Chevrolet badge on the front of the hood there. Uh, got the Super Sport uh, and... Uh, SS badges there because this is a I believe an Impala SS which would be the Super Sport one the, uh, the top of the line fast one as far as I know um, you also have the uh, triple tail light pieces there as well and of course the bumpers are separate chrome pieces there is if you can make it out I'm not sure if you can there is also a chrome piece for the centre speaker in the rear seat backrest there as well. All in all, decent detail and a nice body shape on this car as well. So, in terms of the treatment I've given this one, this is supposed to look like one of those rat rod cars where the, the owner or builder has deliberately stripped back layers of paint, exposed oxidised metal, allowed it to rust a little more or oxidize a bit more and then they keep it in that condition deliberately so sometimes i believe they apply some sort of wax or even a lacquer over the top of the corroded metal and keep it in that permanent state of rustiness because that's the look they wanted to achieve so i've tried to do that really the the effect of it is different in different lights so this isn't too bad in terms of light um uh, I'm just trying to remember what I actually did with this now. I think I started off with a base coat of red oxide primer, the sort of primer you might use on real car panels, uh, and then went over that with a very, very light coat of dark brown, again aerosol, not completely covering the red oxide, but just tinting it with dark brown. And then did the same with an even lighter coat of, of sort of medium grey, um, just to tone down the the red brown colour that was coming out and then in some areas as well I brushed on some real rust which I created using wire wool steel wool uh, soaked in some salted water which then produces rust which crumbles off and you can put onto a brush or a fingertip or whatever and just smear on where you want it so where you are seeing kind of brown streaks or, or areas of brown there what you're seeing there is the 
is the rust from that steel wool. Um, I, I don't know, it's worked out pretty well. I don't know if this car was the perfect subject for that treatment really. I think perhaps on a 1930s hot rod might have worked better. But I wanted to see what would happen and yeah, I'm quite pleased with it. It's okay, it's not too bad. The interior I just did uh, red, so the idea is that this uh, the interior has been left as was, so it is a very simple red. Uh, I tried to give the impression of some split uh, split upholstery with, with uh, the stuffing showing, um, which you can barely see, to be absolutely honest, in the in this closed coupe. Uh, I think yeah, I also added a. A bottle of mineral water on the back seat yeah, you can maybe just see that where yeah, somebody might have just tossed it in the back and then yeah um, I had some decals I had hanging around from other kits I've put in the rear window there and some carpet on the parcel shelf there as well uh, some of you might recognize the the movie that that carpet's famously from I just found the image online printed out I thought it looked like fun great so uh, what's under the hood? As I said, this is a modified custom performance car. The kind of car where somebody spent maybe something like $3,000 on a rusty, uh, non-running original car. And then probably spent another $50,000 on engine transmission and running gear. So if I can get the hood open. There it is. It actually fits quite tightly in there. And you can see where some of those dollars have gone. We've got a nice Chevrolet V8 engine in there. Uh, I'm not sure the capacity of this one. What were they, the original SS engine? Was it 396? 396 cubic inches? I can't remember. Uh, so, yeah, we've got the engine in there. You can see it retains its uh, plumbed-in air conditioning, uh, cooling system, etc. Uh, what we do have, though, are some performance valve covers and air cleaner, suggesting that inside that engine is probably quite a hot bill we've probably got trick cam we've probably got special pistons you know we've probably got all sorts of things there to uh, to get to performance maybe a better carb uh a few modifications done there to to take what was a pretty f big fast old car and turn it into something that really moves and again you can imagine the sort of work that would have been undertaken on the suspension and brakes to make this thing go uh like a new performance car but while retaining that beaten up character of a, a big old Chevy Impala land yacht. I'm just going to see if I can get that hood to fit back into place. Uh, yeah, that's okay. So there we go. My build of the Revel 125th scale 1965 Chevy Impala. Foos edition, um, or just something else I'm going to pick up on there as well. The uh, little bit of uh, daubed on rust on the on the bumper, on the front and on the back there as well. You can see that I didn't quite fit the tail latch correctly. But hey, if you watch this far into the video, that's at least direct that you find. Well done. <laughs> okay, I hope you ever enjoyed that, everybody. Thanks very much for joining, and uh, see you next time.